The single application form can be accessed from your RPW online account homepage. You should check your email and mobile phone details carefully as we will be using these details to get in touch with you about your claim. Click on the online preferences link to update. We will pre-populate much of your single application form based on the information we hold. You have the choice whether to pre-populate basic payment scheme claim ticks and cross-compliance responses. Whichever option you choose, it's your responsibility to check your application is accurate and complete. You should refer to the relevant guidance to help you complete your single application form. It is especially important to read the Single Application Rules booklet. You can access the How to Complete guide at any point during your application by clicking on the Help Guide button on the left-hand menu. If you're using a mobile device, you may need to change your screen settings to view this menu. There's also on-screen help available as you go through your application. Look out for the help buttons to provide definitions or further information. Some pages also have a help for this page button. Answering questions. All the sections are listed on the left hand side. If there is a red cross against the section, it means that this section has yet to be completed or has errors that need to be corrected. You should complete every section of the SAF. Many questions on your application are mandatory. These are marked with an asterisk. Questions are answered either by selecting the correct answer or by typing in the information required. You will notice that some questions are linked to previous answers so we can keep the application as short as possible. The easiest way to go through your application is to click the Next button. This will automatically save your application and tell you if there are any information or error messages based on the information you've entered. A brown information icon means the section contains an information message. These messages are to provide you with further information that you may need. For example, they may tell you about a supporting document you need to provide. They do not stop you from submitting the SAF. If you make an obvious error, such as missing out a question, you will be prompted to correct this and will not be able to submit your SAF until you do. Once a section is complete, Without obvious error or information messages, a green tick will show. Skipping or returning to a section. It is best to work through your application in order, as some sections are dependent on information entered previously but you can also navigate by clicking on the section headings if you need to return to a section to correct or add additional information. In this case, the message suggests the BPS National Reserve New Entrance section is not applicable. If the information is wrong, you can click on the Claims and Entitlement heading to go back to this section and correct the information. Click on the BPS National Reserve New Entrant heading to return to this screen. This will bring up the new entrant questions. Making changes to pre-populated information. Some information will be pre-populated, especially if you've submitted a single application form previously. Most of this information can be edited within the form. 
You should check pre-populated information carefully, as it is likely that some details will have changed. The red cross next to each field parcel means that you're required to check each field parcel before submitting your application. You can search for a field parcel using the field parcel search. You access a field parcel by clicking open. To add a crop, you can click on the add button. The button to the right of the crop code will bring up a list of all possible codes. You will notice the change in BPS claimed area is updated automatically as a result of your changes. Before you submit your application, the summary screens are not part of your application but are very helpful in identifying any omissions or errors you may have made. The green in summary will also give you an indication of whether BPS green in requirements have been met based on the information you've provided. The errors and information page will show you any outstanding errors that need to be corrected before submission. You can also review the information messages. Click on the section heading to go to the relevant section. There may also be additional messages listed that do not relate to a specific question or field parcel. The Supporting Documents page lists the supporting documents that may be required depending on your circumstances and the schemes claimed. Most supporting documents can be submitted online, but some supporting documents must be submitted via the post or in person. Supporting documents need to be submitted by the 16th of May to avoid late claim penalties. You must read and agree to the declarations and undertaking information. You can scroll down the information using the scroll bar. Tick the box to proceed. Submitting your application and supporting documents. Click on the Submit button to submit your single application form. Once your application is submitted, you'll receive an on-screen confirmation. You can print this out if you wish. You also have the option to submit any supporting information as an attachment to an online message, providing original documents are not required. An acknowledgement letter and a copy of your application will be available from your RPW online account within one working day.